I am Eduardo Somarriba. I am coming from Costa Rica. I work for a regional research and education center. It's linked to 14 different countries in Latin America. Myself, I work as a senior agroforester there. I've been in that institution for almost 40 years now. I am here as a visiting scientist. And this is a cooperation with the CIRAD's Unit of Mixed Research on Agrobiodiversity and Agricultural Systems, called APSIS. My research focuses on three crops that are very important globally, which is coffee and cocoa. Unlike other tree crops that are normally big trees, cacao and coffee are small plants. They naturally develop under the canopy of the tropical forest. And farmers design this system to obtain good production from the coffee or the cocoa, but also to obtain some products from the shade trees. It might be fruit, it might be timber, it might be species that uh, improve the soil fertility or produce honey or medicine or something. These forest-like structures of this cocoa and coffee agroforestry system can also provide some environmental services to society like regulation of the water cycles, protection of the soil, fighting climate change because of the capture and mitigation of the climate change. So these are very important system from the practical point of view, but also from the environmental point of view. But when you go to the farm and inspect the system, you realize that this system are somehow suboptimal in the design and the management. And there is a lost opportunity for farmers to get more benefits and from society to get more services from them. So my program here is to think about the different ways that we can redesign this system so that the production and the performance of the system is optimal in the sense that you can produce more with less resources and maybe have more benefits from the, to the environment. So we will start with a conceptualization of the system which is like having a number of uh, different components that have interactions between them. The trees and the crops and the soil and the pathogens and the people who manage the system. And my work here will be to model mathematically how are those interactions between the different elements of the system so that you can really uh, optimize it in a way that farmers can make more out of their own systems. I had all these ideas of how to improve this system. And I've been working in this problem of optimal shading for the, over the last 20, 25 years. And then I realized there is this opportunity to come to Montpellier. There was this wonderful Make It program that supports uh, researchers to help transition into a better world. I had a, a big number of friends and colleagues who work in Montpellier and different institutions. And we found that this will be a great opportunity for me to stay away a little bit from my regular duties in Costa Rica, to really focus on this specific subject. Uh, Montpellier and the Make It and the University of Montpellier and CIDAD and all these units around here offer this unique opportunity to really share and learn a lot of things that can be put together into improving the agroforestry system that I'm working on. In addition to all the science, which is nice here in Montpellier, there is a bonus to my visit here. And my bonus for my visit here has to do with food and cooking and the French way of looking at cuisine and food. Mm -hmm.